Hey there YouTube, I uh, just thought I'd show off a project I've been working on. Uh, the Super Nintendo is suffering from video interference problems. Uh, I'm still diagnosing it, uh, but I thought I'd start off with the 7805 uh, voltage regulator. I replaced it with a modern uh, let's see if I can get the model number there it's 730C I don't know the exact name of it but this is a modern voltage regulator that no longer needs a heatsink so I'll be able to just leave it blank like that I no longer need this so this will just go into my spare parts pile I removed the RF adapter because it made it easier for me to replace the panel I had a uh, an older panel here that had a um, I don't know if you can see it but it's kind of rusted in there in the power connector yeah so this was the original one and I put a new one in there uh, not entirely screwed up screwed in yet I haven't even tested it yet uh, hoping I didn't fry it, we'll see. Um, it's a GPM02 motherboard. These are uh, moddable for having component video output, and I was actually thinking of putting a TRRS jack here for component video and just use the multi out for audio uh, but we'll see how it goes after I do some testing okay so here's the moment of truth let's see if it works I have my HD retrovision cable hooked up to it I still plan on adding component video we have power we have success crystal clear video this uh, Super Nintendo was suffering from uh, interference in the video up here there was a lot of white lines and wavy lines and now it's crystal clear picture with a nice clean new voltage regular that doesn't even need a heatsink uh, let me see if I can get the part for you okay so here's the part uh, this is the new voltage regulator I used for my Super Nintendo to uh, fix the picture so uh, if you're having fuzzy or wavy lines in your Super Nintendo picture it may not just it may not be the caps it may just be the voltage regulator and I installed this modern one that as I said already doesn't even require a heatsink. Uh, it's giving it um, clean 5 volts plus 5 volts. So my assumption is it either was spiking the voltage up too high previously or it was too low. Uh, I should have done a before and after video but um, basically how I can describe it was that um, let's say you have bad reception with an analog TV channel that's pretty much what it looked like and it was wavy white lines on the top and now it's just crystal clear component video through this fantastic HD retro vision cable alright that's it that's uh, an easy fix for the Super Nintendo